doesn't come out on the glove very often. So he may have picked up the fact that the only time he comes on the glove is the river. Gets a little excited. Yeah, you know where we're going. We are taking advantage of a nice sunny day in Sitka, and we're going to take our two education eagles down to the river. Spirit's ready. Our goal with every bird that comes to us is to release them back into the wild. But occasionally we get birds that can't be released. And sometimes these birds make great educational ambassadors and help us teach people about how incredibly fascinating these creatures really are. Oh, he's excited. He wants to get there. I'm not going fast enough. There he goes. Well, they can't ever live in the wild. At least we can offer them a chance to have a little bit of that wild behavior back. And it's just fun to see them be eagles, really. The best kind of reward for a, a long week. <laughs> about your turn, too. Well, he doesn't hate it, that's for sure. Oh, yay, there goes Spirit. Good boy. I love watching them take baths. I never really realized before I started this job that all birds bathe in the same way. They dip one wing, dip the other wing. And then they kind of scoop water onto their back and slap their tail with their wings. Slap, slap, slap. Bank their butts. It's just, it's fun to watch other birds bathe after seeing these guys bathe. It's all the same. There he goes. That was a good spank. <laughs> this little move they're doing, we call the dip and spank. But the, the whole point of bringing them down here is that they get to choose what they want to do. So, are you coming out? If he only wants a little bath, then he gets to choose that. Hi, bud. Are you all done? It's great for both the birds and the staff because we're all clearly enjoying it and getting a laugh and real, gaining some perspective in life. <laughs>